so hello guys welcome back so in this video session i am going to discuss about the variables in the ci cd pipelines before going to start with the writing the variables in the yaml pipelines or th through the classic view editors we need to know some concept about the variables in the ci cd pipelines and the basic understanding about the variables will be helpful to define the variables in the yaml pipelines or through the classic view editor variables play the very important role in this azure devops ci cd pipelines and how using a variable is to define a value that we can use in the azure pipelines we have the some external value and then we want to pass this value in the yaml pipelines or the classic view editor at the run times then we can define a variable and in that variables we can assign the value and that variables we can use throughout the azure pipelines second concept is that all the variables store as a string in the azure devops so whatever variables you are defining in the azure devops these are store as a string they are not the numbers they are not in the single quotes you need to define in the double quotes so all the variables store as a string in the azure devops the value of the variables can change from run to run or job to job of our ci cd pipelines you can change the variable value how you want to run and how you going to define the jobs so based on the job and the based on the type of the run you can change the value of the variables in our ccd pipeline fourth one is saying that if a variable is defined at the job level so as you are aware the how we can define the jobs if you define the variable as a job level then it can override a variable which is set as a stage level the overriding the variable which is set as a stage level if you define the variable same variable at the job level and the stage level the job level variable can override a variable at the stage level a variable which is defined at the stage level that can be override a variable which is set at the pipeline root level we will see in the video how we can define the variables at the job level stage level and the root level then you will able to understand more clearly but you can understand the variable which is defined at the stage level can be override a variable which is set at the pipeline root level so this is the basic understanding to define a variables in the ci cd pipelines second one is the variable naming restrictions when you are going to define a variables there are some restrictions you cannot type the custom and user defined variable whatever is the system defined variables so user defined and the environment variables can consist of the letters a to z small letters capital letters you can use the numbers you can use the dot and you can use the underscore character if there is a system defined variable name like sys admin that you cannot use as a user defined variable you will get an error so whatever variable is as the user level you can define using the combination of the letters numbers and the characters now we'll see the one demo on the classic view editor to access the variables and the variable group from the classic view for the continuous integration pipeline then you will able to understand what is the variable and how we can create the variable group so this is about the basic understanding okay so let's create the variable for that i'm going to switch to the my dev.azure.com account and i am under the pipeline sections and under pipeline sections i have created one folder variables yaml folder i'm going to this folder and there i'm going to create a pipeline so first i will use the classic editor pipeline 
under the pipeline i am going to select the source so azure repos as it is so i'm going to continue and then i want the empty job for that so till that you know very well how you can create the pipelines now you want to define the variables okay so once you are on this page under the pipeline sections you have the task and then you have the variable section is there so you can click on that and you can see the variables are there so one is the pipeline variables and you have the variable group so pipeline variables and the variable groups are available under the variable sections these are the system defined variables the system dot collection id the system dot debug system dot definition and system dot team project so this is your project name by default the system is taking so these are the system defined variables and these are the pipeline variables okay so now i'm going to define a variable so you select the pipeline variable here now i want to add one variable so for that i'm going to click on the add button and the first i need to provide the name of the variable so i can say this is the where demo 1 okay and then i need to provide the value so this is the key value pair option so i want to provide the value so value will be in the string so you can provide like string so by default if i type the value suppose demo where so this is the value of that variable so this will be in the string by default now if you want to create a variable group so you can go to this one okay and you can link a variable group so under the link a variable group you can click on that one and you have the one variable link group is there okay so you can click on that and you just link this variable group to this one and i want to save this pipeline as so the folder name is variable yaml folder and you can provide the comment this is demo where pipeline so i'm going to save this one now i have selected one variable group this is the name of the variable group but how to create the variable group so for that you can go to the library section is there under the pipeline you have the library section and under that you have the variable group so you can click on the variable group and this is the new variable group so you can provide the variable group name okay and you can provide the descriptions and now if you want to add a variable here we will understand in the later videos what is the variable group and how to use that this is the just to understand how to define the variable and in this variable group you can define the variables so where one and you can provide the value one okay and same like things you can define more variables and the value is two now you can save this variable group now you want to access this variable group you can go to the pipeline okay under the yaml pipeline sections you have the one pipeline is there you want to edit this pipeline now i will go to the variable sections and under the variable i want to link this variable group so that i can access whatever variable i have defined under the library sections i can use in this pipeline so this will be the one centralized way for all the pipelines which i want to create okay through that i can link the variable group and this is the variable group we just created and you can link this variable group now you can save this pipeline okay so in this pipeline i have the variable and the variable group so predefined variables are there if you click on the predefined variables so you can see a lot of predefined variables are there build.in system.access token 
system dot debug so system level variables are the predefined okay so you cannot give the name of these one user defined name so this is the restrictions while naming the variables agent variables related to this one okay so these are the system defined variables in the azure devops okay and this is the pipeline variables which i'm going to add so this is our pipeline variables and this is our variable group so now we understood how to create the variable and the variable group for a continuous integration pipeline now we want to see how to create the variables for the release pipeline so for that i'm going to the release sections release define the continuous deployment sections for the pipeline okay so for that i want to create a new pipeline so i'm going to create one new release pipeline under the release pipelines i have the variable section is there you can see the variables the same section i can found under the release pipelines so pipeline variables in same way you can define the variables here and variables groups you can link the variable group here also okay release stages so variable group scope is release and the stages so you can define the stages also stage one this is environment level so on the release pipeline level so best select the release pipeline and you can link now this variable group is helping for the variables in this release pipelines okay so this is the one pipelines i have created for the release so like that you can access the variables and the variable group from the classic view for the ci cd pipelines in next video we will see what are the types of the variables and what is the difference between the different type of the variables